Hello everyone, today we are working on problem 3 of the CSES uh, sorting and searching section and that problem is titled Ferris Wheel. So we have n children who want to go on a Ferris Wheel and we have to find a, go find a gondola for each child. So they can have one or two children in it and in each and each gondola cannot have a weight that exceeds x. So we need to find the minimum number of gondolas. So, the trick here is to actually, once we have a gondola that's uh, not full, because every child goes in a gondola, it doesn't matter which one we put in first, but since they can only carry two children in it, the trick to figuring out which child goes second is to actually greedily pick the one that could, the heaviest one that can pick, that you can fit in your gondola. So that makes sense. So say we have the gondola with two in it, and we can carry up to ten. Well, we can fit up to eight more weight units on the gondola, and the one that's the highest, uh, closest to eight, is seven. So we're going to have two and seven go together, then three go on its own, then nine go on its own, which actually creates our optimal solution. So let's code that. So here we have our main template, our directory has already been created. So let's figure this out. So we have a uh, n for a long long, x for a long long, and uh, x is the weight and n is the number of kids. And then uh, we need to have a temporary one to grab the number, grab the kids. And okay, that's all we're gonna do for now. And then now for the weight, of the gondola or the current gondola I'm going to write CG as the weight of the current gondola and we're actually going to start that out as zero meaning uh, there's no more room on the current gondola so we're going to have to add it and then actually we're going to have A equals zero and be the amount of gondolas so far so then let's do so we have um, oh and to greedily pick we're actually going to take uh, advantage of a thing in C++ called a multi-set. And we're going to call this... We're going to have long longs in the multi-set, and we're going to have P. Now, multi-sets are always sorted. No matter how what you put in it, how you do it, they're always going to be sorted. So they're really useful for really picking what we have, what we're going to have. So, let's see. We have... So while... He, he is not empty. What we need to do is somehow empty P. So we have current gondola having nothing in it. So let's just uh, attack that case first. So if CG equals, equals zero, then what we need to do is grab something that'll go into CG. So let's just say, um, since it's always sorted, let's grab the smallest one and put it in CG. So we're going to increase the number of gondolas, and then let's let the leftover current gondola space equal e.begin, and then uh, let's have, we need to subtract that from x to get the leftover space. And then, of course, we need to get rid of the first one, so p space dot b. Now you're going to have to do it specifically how I do it here because p.begin is an iterator and the only way to erase only one of that one of a number is to erase using its iterator. So you're going to have to do exactly what I did. So uh, you have to remember to in an x and then we have to make p2 so and make sure this is long long uh, we're going to send and then x dot insert. Okay, so now what if oh, we need to p dot insert? So what happens if it's not empty? Else, so first off, we need to figure out if um, there will be anything that fits in at all. So let's find out. So let's say auto IT or PIT, meaning P iterate. Uh, 
uh, equals p dot lower bound. Um, let's grab cg. So since p is always sorted, that's just a property of multiset. If we grab the lower bound, that means that it's going to find the number that is greater than or equal to cg in p and return its iterator. So what happens if nothing is greater than or equal to cg? Then what it returns is hit, uh, if nothing is greater than or equal to cg, then it'll return pit.n. Or wait, yes. If nothing is greater than or equal to p cg, then it returns p.n. So if pit equals uh, p.n, then that means that what happened was that uh, there is nothing greater than or equal to cg, which means that all the numbers are less than cg. So that means that if we grab uh, the one at the end, or pit minus minus, which grabs the one uh, before p.end, which is the last element in p, then we can uh, just zero out cg and not do anything because of the fact that we are putting something into, or we're putting the last one into C, the current gondola, and we just zero it out because nothing else can fit in. There. So let's erase pit from P2 so we get rid of it. Now, what if it was uh, not the end? And since it's greater than or equal to, what if it was greater than? What if we would get a pit or a PIT that's greater than um, CG? Well, in that case, uh, well, let's just grab pit greater than CG. We can actually subtract one because it's going to return the earliest one that's greater than or equal to it which means that if we subtract one, we're going to get one that's less than or equal to. Now, here's one scenario where it won't work, and that's if it was at the beginning. And p dot, or uh, if hit, um, okay, so there's two cases that can happen at the beginning. If p dot, t equals p dot begin. Okay. And uh, PIT is greater than CG, then what we have to do is PIT, or so it won't fit in the gondola. Nothing will fit in it. So CG equals zero because we know nothing will fit in it. And actually, we can do CG equals this new one. So we can just put in this new PIT at the beginning CG equals X minus. T and then eight. Okay. And then, so then we just continue. Already. And then here we also continue. And what if it's not at the end? What if it's, we get something that's equivalent to IT? Then what we can do is actually just erase it. And so we only need that much and then at the end we just so let's test it let's play grab our input and we get nothing because something messed up are we seeing it every time he he did not erase it Stop, load it, and then grab, input, and and. So let's just make sure we're not using integers anywhere, and we're not. So let's just submit it. And get this. It gets accepted. So that's going to be it for this episode of 
CSES sorting and solving. This is episode number three. As I solve them, I'll just be uploading videos and getting them to you guys as soon as possible. So if you liked this video, give it a like, subscribe, and if you thought of a faster way to do it, leave a comment down below. Uh, we might make a video on it. So thanks for watching. See ya.